Welcome to this video. Today I want to talk about how you can securely and safely delete your web browsing data. When you go into a web browser and go into the settings options to delete your browsing data, this does not permanently and safely or securely delete the data. Or in other words, it's retrievable. It doesn't take a whole lot of expertise on how to figure out how to retrieve that data. Now as far as solutions, the first thing I would recommend is encrypt your computer or encrypt your drives, both your hard drives and SSDs. And yes, Microsoft does offer BitLocker, which is a full disk encryption solution. And often many uh, drives themselves will come with encryption settings or options, but those are not always flawless. Um, there have been ways to get around those encryption solutions. And so I would recommend going with Veracrypt, which is a free uh, open source uh, software that you can use to encrypt your computer. I have done a tutorial on this program, on this software, and I will link that tutorial down below in the notes so you can check it out. But this would be the first option that I would recommend as far as protecting your web browsing data. Now, of course, there are situations where, for example, if you share a computer where someone else has access to that computer, full disk encryption isn't going to be the solution because again you're sharing the computer someone else uses it and of course when it comes to files you do have the option for individual file encryption for example with AxeCrypt, you can encrypt individual files but this isn't really an option for browsing data and i would also recommend considering using private browsing which is an option in virtually every single web browser that is currently in use you do have a incognito or private browsing option that you should and could use but even myself I have forgotten at times to use that option or later on I'll realize that I thought I was in a private tab but later found out I was not and so when you're in that situation when you absolutely need to delete browsing data and you need to do that securely what I would recommend is CCleaner. Now CCleaner is a common tool used to clean out garbage data out of the computer including web browsing uh, data. But the nice thing about CCleaner is if we go over here to the options and then over to settings, right here we have a secure deletion option. And so we can go ahead and turn that on. And it does have a couple options here. Now first off, you do want to just check both of these boxes. It's more secure to do that. But this drop down menu will give you different options as far as how many passes or overrides it does of that data to make it more difficult for someone to retrieve that deleted browsing history. And so for the average computer user, one or three passes should be enough. One or three for the average computer user. If you are a high profile target, for example, a celebrity or an executive, something like that, you may want to consider using seven. 35, that, that is for life and death situations. Most of you should not consider doing that many. Now, one thing I, I do want to mention right now is this secure deletion option is not something you want to use on a daily basis or regular basis because it puts a lot of wear and tear on your drives. It's going to shorten the life of the drive if you're doing this on a regular basis. So again, do not do this daily. Don't do it weekly. I wouldn't even do it monthly. Uh, try to avoid having to do this. And that again is why I recommend using a private or incognito window. So that way you can avoid this in the first place. This is something you want to use as minimal as possible. Now once you've done this, once you've changed the settings uh, to the secure deletion, all you do is you go back to the cleaner and just make sure that you have all of the web browsing data options checked underneath the browsers. Now it will do this for everything that is checked and so if you want to target only the web browsers then you're going to want to uncheck these other uh, boxes that will be checked by default. One thing you could consider leaving checked is the recycle bin it's the same sort of concept when you delete a file and it puts it in the recycle bin and you empty the recycle bin that data that file can be retrieved if it's not securely deleted and so you could uh, possibly consider leaving that box checked or other ones here that you want to leave checked you can do that as well but once you have everything set the way you need it you just hit run cleaner it will go ahead and run through and clean that out notice that it will take a little bit longer and just normally running it because secure deletion does take a little bit longer, that is normal. Now there are other options that you can use as far as secure solutions to delete individual files or folders. 
Uh, and these will all be linked down below in the notes down in the video description. But Eraser is one of the more commonly known programs, but there's also Free File Shredder. You could also use uh, Bleach Bit as well as Tweak Now. And there's a lot of others that I'm not even mentioning that you could also use. These are more handy as if you need more additional options or more customization, or if you're just looking for an individual file or individual folder uh, deletion option, these are the ones that you want to look at. But when it comes to browser data specifically, I think CCleaner does a very good job. Again, it is free uh, and you can definitely use it whenever you need it. If you do have any comments or questions about this, uh, please post them down below in the notes. I'd be happy to respond as quickly as possible. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful day.